Welcome to this video. In our previous videos, we explain how to model parts and assemble the parts in Abacus software for a hink. And in this video, we will explain about creating contact and type of contact that exist in the Abacus software and use them for this problem. At first, we go to the step module and create a static general a step to solve the contact between these three parts. The step is difficult for convergence and we start with a small initial time increment and we increase the maximum number of the increment. Now we can go to the interaction module to create contact between two parts in Abacus software. At first, we should define a property for the contact. From create interaction property, we can create a property that includes mechanical, thermal, and electrical <coughs> type of contacts. In this video, we explain mechanical behavior and it includes tangential and normal behavior at first. For normal behavior, we should define the pressure over closure type at first. It includes five different types of the pressure over closure relationships. As you can see in this figure, for hard contact, there are only two states. If contact happens or the nodes are closed, the pressure can be any value and the overclosure is zero. But before happening the contact, clearance can has any value and the pressure is zero. The other type of pressure overclosure contact is exponential. In this type, we should enter the pressure at the clearance equal to zero and the clearance at pressure equal to zero as you can see in this figure there is also linear pressure over closure contact and we should only enter the stiffness and tabular which we can enter any number of points on the curve of pressure over closure and also there is a scale factor method that we should enter the factor that will be multiplied to the stiffness and we also enter the distance between the applying this factor. We also have the method of enforcement of the contact which has three different ways. The direct way is the Lagrange method and we also have penalty method here and also we have augmented Lagrange which is a modified penalty method to enforce the contact more accurate than penalty method. We also can use default which is one of these methods in different situations and usually is direct method. After defining the normal behavior we can also define the tangential behavior of the contact. About the tangential behavior, we can use contact without friction or by applying the penalty method to the column friction model. We also have friction model related to static and dynamic friction coefficient and we can model rough contact and we also can model column friction model by Lagrange method. This is the tangential behavior and the simplest friction model which has the most chance of convergence is frictionless model. This model ignores the friction between two surfaces and convergence of the problem will be easier. Now we could assign the contact property to the surfaces that are in contact. 
At first, we hide the pin and we define surface for internal surface of each hinge. Here is an internal surface and another surface is here. We create two surfaces and picking these internal faces will be easier After creating these two surfaces, we can add the pin and create a surface for it. And pick the brown side. Now we can create interaction between surfaces. It's better to start the interaction from the initial step at the beginning of the solution the type of the contact between two surfaces is surface to surface contact we choose it and then we click continue and now we should at first pick the master surface which is the rigid part from created surface we pick the pen and we then pick another deformable surface which can be one of the hang the sliding between two surfaces is small and we can use a small sliding and reduce our computational cost and we pick the contact property here one more time we define an interaction between surfaces between ping and ink and then pick the pin and then pick the hang one more time we pick a small sliding and contact property and the interaction is complete now we can go to the load module in load module we fix one side of the problem we fix one of the hangs end The pin boundary condition and encaster boundary condition are equal here because the problem has no rotation degree of freedom in its node. We create a movement for this part in the move step. Only in one direction we move this surface and the amount is really small. Rotational degree of freedom are not important. Then we apply some constraint to the pin. The pin has six degrees of freedom and we fix five of these six and only remove the first degree of freedom to be free thank you guys for watching this video i hope that this video was helpful for you if you like this video please let us know by a comment or by subscribe you could also find videos related to creating the part assembling the parts and meshing the parts and running this job in related playlists.